Welcome back to the Evansville Otters pregame show. I'm Mike Radomski. It's time now for the player's perspective as we are now joined by Greg Alexander, the outfielder for the Otters. Greg, first off, thanks for joining us. Yesterday's ball game, not like what you guys anticipated, a 6-4 to four loss. Talk about that game for a second. Uh, the game, they jumped out on us early, but I thought we was going to come back and um, win it, but they ended up winning 6-4. to four. Just um, another hurting loss, just trying to get a win today. And the guys have now had a couple losses in a row. Is it really starting to eat at you guys? You're trying to bust out, but it's not quite there yet. Yeah, we, we everybody's just pushing and just pressing a little bit. But we we just really want to just play harder and try to get a win. A couple in a row. Is it tougher when you guys fall behind like you did yesterday, 6 nothing? Yes, it's, it's pretty tough when you um, get behind 6 nothing to try to come back. It's hit us, especially playing with um, wood bats. Greg Alexander joining us here on the Players' Perspective. You were a big part of that comeback. You came up, had a three-run home run. How do you think that jolted and helped out this offense get back into the game? Um, I, I think it helped out the team out pretty well. And um, I thought we, when I did hit the home run after that, I thought we was going to score a few more runs after that. To, since we held them at that six, I thought we was going to come back and win. And on your birthday, how special is it to hit a three-run home run on your birthday? Mm. Felt really good. You know, I was really excited about it. I'm just glad to hit one on, on a day like that on my birthday. Felt pretty good. Now, as we went through the game, Jason Renicki really came in and was able to hold down the other team from scoring more runs. What did you see from his performance? Um, he, he pitched really well. He threw a lot of strikes, got a lot of ground balls. But um, when he did hold him, I thought especially then he was going to come back when he was holding to six. But fortunately, we didn't score another run. In the late innings, we saw another rally put together by your team. Brandon Cohen and SD Harris coming through in the late innings. What would you see from them? Um, when they came up, I was pretty sure, for sure did that we was going to uh, come back and win as good as hitters uh, as they are. I really thought that we was going to um, come back. Greg Alexander joining us here on the Evansville Otters pregame show. It's your second season with the Otters. What was the first season like here with Evansville? First season like was really tough. We lost a, a whole lot of games. We um, we'll be winning some games and then blow it. Either we didn't hit well or pitch well, then stay real balanced together as a team. And you even had an injury last year where it forced you to switch your glove hand to the opposite side. What was that like? Um. It was, it was pretty natural to switch over, but um, the injury did cause me to um, play in the field right-handed. Just played a little bit left field, about 20 games right-handed. And Chicky was saying how special it was that you actually switch hands from one to the other and didn't even make an error. Yeah, that was uh, pretty exciting. And I, I didn't really know anything about that, about the errors, but I guess it was a good thing to switch hands and um, don't make an error. But you've had a chance to work with Chicky now for two years. What's your relationship with the manager of the Otters? Pretty good relationship with him. Um, he'll tell us when he's, if he sees something, then he'll just tell you to the side of something, what you're doing wrong, or try to help you out as a player. And because you're one of the older players coming back for another year here with the team, does that almost make you like a veteran to the other players who are new to the team? Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say a veteran. But because um, I still look up some guys on the team and try to learn some stuff from them, but just um, a few new guys just ask me a couple questions here and there. But I wouldn't say just veteran yet. Who are some of the players that you look up to as the veterans? Then um, I look up like Brandon Cohen and um, Esther Harris is hitting wise as a hitter, and um, the other guys Lugo. I like Lugo a lot. He tells me a few things about pitchers and what they try to throw to us as hitters. And so far this year, you had the injury that took you a couple weeks, a couple weeks away from you playing so far this season. Do you feel you've come back now fully strong, ready to go at it? Yes. The, um, the injury, I haven't been feeling it at all. I think I'm getting um, all my strength back, and I'm just ready to play. And we've seen you hitting a couple spots in the order so far this year. Do you prefer one spot over another one? Um, it, it really doesn't matter to me, but I just it seems like they throw the same type of pitches in each each spot, just a certain situation if runners are on base or not. 
Greg Alexander still here on the Evansville Ladders pregame show. Your team's in the middle of a nine-game road trip. A lot of teams say road trips are pretty hard because you have to go through so many different things that you don't have at home. What's the road trip been so uh, so far for you? On um, the road trip, has been pretty good. Just that the long bus rides kind of takes a toll on the players. You can't sleep how you want to sleep, but just got to play hard. And so far you guys are now through the middle of the trip here in Washington. What have you seen so far from the Wild Things? The Wild Things, I've seen um, a couple things from them. they got a couple um, good hitters on their team, some pretty decent pitching. And for your team, what's it going to take to now get back on the winning end here against Washington tonight? We just got to come out, swing the bats, get some runs early so the pitcher can get some confidence tonight in the game to help them out, relieve some pressure off of him. That was Greg Alexander of the Evansville Otters. Thanks again for joining us, Greg, and best of luck the rest of the season. All right, thank you. All right, that was Greg Alexander. We'll be right back on the Evansville Otters pregame show right after this.